Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing. This unboxing is from FG Normal. They did send me these items for review, so thank you to FG Normal. So let's do the cards first. So these are diamond painted, diamond painted cards. Christmas cards. There should be eight of them, and this is currently on the site for $10.99 in pounds. So there should be eight of them. There should be those here. I might save this and this is what I might um, stick onto my, my journal. If I remember not to print out the thumbnail. <laughs> so there should be eight, two, four, six, eight cards here. And these look like ordinary drills. Oh, I see some ABs and then I see some specials. So. So these ones are a little bit different because they are cut out. So you're supposed to be able to fold them and, well, let me do one. So they're supposed to be able to fold them. Supposed to be able to fold them and like that. Maybe when they're more folded, it'll fold it, and you're supposed to do that. So they're supposed to be more three D. Am I am I folding them wrong? No, I think I'm doing it right, so it'll just be, if you just fold, it should be like that. So, either way, I'll figure it out. So, here's Santa and a reindeer on a hot air balloon. Here. And a snowman riding a polar bear. And the back doesn't have anything. That's why I'm trying to figure out how to to finagle it. Here is stocking. Christmas tree. See, the background of this one's much nicer. See, I feel like... I feel like the example thing is folded like this and this is folded like that so then it's supposed to like hang out like that I don't know Like I said, I'll figure it out. So here is Snowman, Santa. See the backgrounds of some of these look really nice. These, yeah, no, I think on the site it looks like it was folded that way. I was trying to do some bells and Santa on a golf cart scooter. So there's the eight there. And did I say these were $10.99? Probably. And each one is about 15 by 15. So let's see, look at the drills. So some gold, red, blue, ooh, and bigger gold ones. Uh, these ones have a little star burst on them. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. And then some little stars. Oh, missed this one. Some more pearl-shaped ones. 
So some white, red, oh, these look like white, um, pearly ABs, red, again, orange, orange, that's brown. I don't know my colors. Yeah, green. <laughs> um, these look like yellow ABs here, some orange, and then some purples and blue. The next item I got is supposed to be a tote bag. So I don't actually have one in this version looking one where the the handles look like that. The strap handles strap. I don't know. Am I using the right word anyway? Oh. So let's see. Okay, so ordin oop, oop, sorry. Ordinary toolkit here. And there's the legend here. It's nice. It feels like canvas, so it just got printed. I'm thinking, I'm wondering if it got printed on the side and then they just cut it out. So, this. So it does have a kind of... So it's not just straight down. There's like a... I don't know what you call these things. <laughs> there's a little bottom here. Much nicer than the grocery bags before that they were coming out with. It is not that big. This whole thing is 16 or 26 centimeters by 26 centimeters. I'm wondering if this is one of those ones I'm gonna have to pick out with tweezers because it does look like the plastic is actually the when they sewed the picture in, they sewed the plastic in too. So usually I end up having to pick it out with tweezers. So I got this butterfly with leaves. I have a lot of butterfly diamond paintings, let me tell you. But I thought it looked nice. And on the site right now, it's $6.99 in pounds. And they have a bunch of different patterns on the same listing. So this is the one I chose because I don't know because I did. That's the one I chose. So drill field. It looks like a bunch of just symbols. So these Oh, that's why I had the the legend in here. Oh, these do have the crystal code. So it looks like there's going to be 12 colors and it looks So I just need to remember to keep this in here so I know what it is. So that looks like some, this might be the only big one. It's this yellow one and then some brown, yellow, green, pink, black, a lot of this green, number three. And then, so it seems like there's a lot of green and a lot of blue. Huh, I didn't think there would be that much blue, but I think it is the outline. Yes, it's the outline of the butterfly there. But these have the crystal code. I've been asked a couple times how I'm able to put my my special shape, uh, my crystals into a code. That's what I use there. See the crystal code. One is the clear. I know 93 is black. And that's the extent of what I remember. <laughs> The 28, 27, and 27, 28, and 29 are greens. I know that. I think 189 is also a very common green. See, I, I apparently diamond paint so much and I kit down so much, I just remember this stuff. <laughs> so that, yes, this is the last one I'm unboxing for this video. So I have the butterfly tote bag here and then the Christmas cards in the background. So I will work on these because I kind of see myself just finishing all of them. And I'll see you later, hopefully with some finishes. I'm back and here's the finish. If, if, if the sound's a little um, eh, it's because I have my air conditioning going off in the background and it's not quiet, but. So here is the bag here with the butterfly. I think this one turned out really, really nice. 
I've already actually sealed this also. So it's a little shinier. The background is a little shinier than really is because, you know, when you seal something, it's glossy. But I used the Krylon Glitter Blast Clear Sealer and I would sprayed this three layers. So let's see. Did I say anything? So the bag is about a 24 by 24. So this is about a 24 by 24 with 12 colors, 11 were crystal rhinestones and one special. Um, there actually was a crystal code for these ones. I thought the rendering was good. There are guide circles, so uh, you can see them underneath some of the things here if it will focus. I don't know if you can see it. You, you can see the guide circles. Like, you can see the white underneath some of the stuff here. The stick was fine, the canvas was a bag, the drills were normal, uh, the gap being not applicable. This actually took me two hours to complete, so it was probably when it was like two hours and 20 seconds or something, but I don't count seconds, so two hours to complete and over one day. My main comment was the plastic cover was sewed onto the bag so it seems like what when they were doing it they put the plastic cover on and then they sewed everything together so the plastic I had to get tweezers and pick out the plastic from underneath the the you know the white the clear plastic cover over diamond painting I had to pick it out of under the stitches so and I've noticed that that seems to be it seems to be the case for any of these diamond paintings that are on these kind of like bags or like the pillowcase covers and stuff like that, that the they the plastic does seem to be some lots of times stitched directly underneath the stitching. So so yeah, I think this turned out really nice. Butterfly diamond paintings turn out usually really, really pretty, and I like how this got charted here. And even the leaves look really good. So I'm happy with this one. Alright. Next thing is all the Christmas cards. So there were eight cards. There was 19 colors. Ten were regular round drills. Two were A, B, seven were specials. I thought the rendering was fine. Symbols were fine. Paper, nothing. I didn't really write anything. I did add some rhinestones. This took me two days to complete over four hours and 49 minutes. So, so cards, the Christmas cards do take some time. So... Here it is. So here's the first one with the Christmas tree here. I did add the crystal rhinestones because there were none in the none used. So anything that's a crystal rhinestone, that was me adding it. So I just did this yellow here and then the star. And here is the snowman riding the bear. I don't think I changed anything on this, so this is as originally rendered. And here is Santa and a reindeer on a hot air balloon. I think the only thing I changed here is this yellow rhinestone that I put in here. I was thinking after I did it, I should have done this red here to be rhinestones too, but one, I don't know if you have had the pleasure of picking out drills after you put them on there. It's not that easy and sometimes I'm like, eh, it looks nice enough already. Didn't need to bling that up. So yeah, and then here is the stocking. I think this one turned out really nice. I did use rhinestones for this here and then all the holly here and then around here and then on the candy canes up here. So this one turned out nice. Here's Santa. I did like their, their use of the ABs, like this is a white AB here, and then this is just regular white drills, so I thought they, they worked in the drills, uh, the AB drills really nicely. I did just add rhinestones to the Christmas tree here. And here is a snowman, and everything is as originally rendered except for the holly berries up here and here, and then the Christmas tree. I made that all into rhinestones, just so that it has a different effect. And here's a Santa on a golf cart, I guess. <laughs> it looks like a golf cart. This is as originally rendered, so I did not change anything on this one. 
and some bells here. I think this is also as originally rendered. I didn't change anything. I was trying to think about what to change, and then I was like, okay, nope. It's fine as it is, so. I think this one turned out nice. I like, I like how the ribbon turned out here. So this is one of those weird ones where I was just like, how in the world does it work? Like when I was looking at it, I was like, I don't think you just close it this way. So what I think is you're supposed to fold it this way. And then this is cut out. And then you're supposed to probably put it in your envelope like that. So that when you take it out, this is how. I'm almost pondering if I should tape this here so that or is it supposed to stand is it supposed to stand like that i'm not sure if it's supposed to stand like that or should i tape this and so that when it's open it's just like this and then you're supposed to write your message here and as opposed to staying something in there but yeah i think that's how it's supposed to go so I was like, because I was looking at it, I was like, I don't know, you're, I, yeah. So the one thing about this, these ones, is since the, this was cut out, the plastic was cut out with it too. So sometimes the plastic was actually really hard to take off because it would rip when you were taking it off. So then you had to like, oh, like, oh, some of the plastic is in there. So that's how it's supposed to look there. So yeah, I think with the extra background in the back, it looks really nice. So yeah. So that's the last one. So let me put all the diamond paintings nicely put so you can see them all here. There. And... Let's move this to the side a little bit so that I can put the bag here too. So you can see all the finishes here. So that's all I have for today. So thank you very much to FG Normal for sending these items for review. And thank you for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.